If you're looking to purchase codes for the new release of Cosmic Eclipse, be sure to check out ptcgostore.com for codes at a really good price. But if you're even looking for a better price and want to show your support, use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What is up peeps, it's Follow TCG, and I'm talking you back to another YouTube video. And today we are playing in Expanded. It has been a long time a very 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 long time since i've played and expanded um but i'm really really excited to do it and the main reason why i'm doing it is for this little combo right here it is the brand new ultra cosmo that's come out in cosmic eclipse and um, it has a pretty good attack which you can just use for a double dragon energy um it's 170 damage and also discards an energy from your opponent's active pokemon biggest drawback being it can't attack unless you have two so unless your opponent has two or less Price cards remaining is that correct yes two or less yeah so how do we deal with that garbador we shut off its own ability so it can attack right away it is super strong and a really 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 cool deck so i want to go straight into it to see how it goes i just want to add a quick disclaimer here um i have as i said i haven't played expanded for a while so my experience in the expanded format and the type of cards that are staples or not it, it's quite lacking in uh in the knowledge of that so I've tried doing what I can. Um, I've got cards that I believe are quite critical uh, for the deck. Let's say hello. Um, so, we're just going to see how it goes. We're going to include a lot of new cards. We have the likes of Great Catcher in here, which, you know, some could say is not really necessary considering you've got the likes of Lysander and stuff and Guzma. But we've got a Guzma in here as well. But a Great Catcher is just item um, version of Gus, which I think is pretty cool. Um, oh, it seems like we're up against Greninja, which is actually kind of works in our favor believe it or not if it shuts off our abilities it allows us to attack so we don't even need the garbador so this kind of works out in some ways um and we actually get to shut off theirs with garb anyway so hey this is kind of cool let's see if we find a double dragon we do that's good news um thank you thank you um and then let's see if we can get a good turn one supporter Ooh, we're gonna get another acro bike here so yeah i played the likes of versus seeker and stuff i know these cards are good um in the expanded format so i don't think i'm that lacking in experience both of these cards are kind of pointless um i guess i just grabbed the choice band for the sake of using a tool um yeah let's do that for now um we could go for let's do it let's go for a guzman hala let's get ourselves a stadium tool uh, let's get that and another double dragon we don't really need that but hey we're just gonna play it now because we have it um, and we're just going to pass up here, I'd say. Um, the biggest issue I've had with this build so far is consistency. Being able to come into your draw supporters and keep the deck flowing is quite a tough thing to do. I play a very healthy amount of draw supporters, though, like four Sycamores, two ends, three Cynthia's, a Cole Res. I play a lot of them. Um, but it seems to be a big crutch in this deck regardless, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, yeah, what a top deck. All right, I'm going to play this Shrine anyway just for the sake of doing so. Let's just play as much cards as possible. Go for a Cynthia. Uh, hopefully, we hit what we need. And we do exactly what we need. Sweet. Okay, let's get this Garbodor out. And uh, let's go for another Ultra Necrozma. Bench, there we are. So, their Greninja is going to have no abilities, which is going to be so critical. So... I'm, I'm really, really excited here. This is good. This is really, really good stuff. Now, of course, they probably play the likes of Field Blower and stuff to deal with Garbodor. Um, but we play four Floatstone. A lot of Floatstone. Um, it's just so critical in this deck. I just decided to play four and thought we had to do. We even did the likes of Adventure Bag, as you saw there. Guzma and Hala is pretty good as well. If you're struggling, you don't have your Shrine out when you're up against a GX deck. You don't have your... Uh, floatstone to deactivate your own ability and you don't have that double dragon energy that card gets all three at once it's a pretty good card to use in this deck on a turn where you don't really need to play a draw supporter so it's pretty cool so i don't think they're going to go for their shadow stitching i think they're probably going to go more for moonlight slash which makes perfect sense but um i think we're well equipped to deal with a greninja we one shot it um i believe it is 100 and something hp oh wow now shrine is relevant i did not expect that to come out but yeah they are going to go for moonlight slash that's what I expected. But I think we are in for a pretty good run here. I'm not going to play this Floatstone. I want to save that as much as I can. Um, I'm going to go for a Colrez here. So I don't mind getting rid of that Acro Bike. Yeah, nice Colrez. We actually are getting seven off of this, which is nice. Um, what do we get? So right now it's just, you know, play as you do. And uh, start getting stuff out. And yeah, this is nice. I think we actually get a one shot on this Greninja as well. Which is just stupid. We're going to bring it up into the active here. And just 
Smash it. I don't even think we need to play this uh, Shine of Punishment. Man, this is just stupid. This, this, ah, oh, this deck is crazy. This deck is absolutely crazy. I love it so much. It's a shame that it can't really exist in the um, standard format. The only ability uh, locks that we have are Mimikyu, which is new, and I actually quite like that card, and Power Plant, but they both don't shut off non-GX abilities. They only shut off GX. So if in the future we get some sort of reprint of a Garbodor or something down that line, this is going to be some pretty, really, sorry, this deck is going to be just stupid. Um, if this came out just a bit before, Alolan Muck would have worked perfect with it as well, um, which is another thing. And again, you can play Muck in here so you don't have to go and get the Float Stone, but being able to lock off things like Greninja is such a big advantage. We just can't not use Garbodor. Uh, so that's my thought process, at least, when playing this deck. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go. We are just, we're just making moves now. Jesus. Okay. Let's get an adventure bag. We don't really need that right now. I guess it's a way to thin the deck, right? So let's, let's do that just to thin. Um, and we can actually Versus Seeker here for another Coral Riz, which is cool. Um, let's just get stuff into play for now, I guess. We'll just get another Choice Band. And Bench. What, another Trubbish? Free Trubbish? Not a fan of that. Not a fan of playing three of them. Nah. That's not down my alley. All right, let's do a Versus Seeker here and see what we get. Obviously, we get that Coriz. Oh, Coriz for eight. This is just stupid. We are rolling. Absolutely rolling. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it like this. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go for that. Man, this is quick. This is rapid. I did not expect us to be kicking off so quickly here. Um, really don't need anything else, to be honest. I mean, the main fear I have right now is an N. That's the biggest problem we're going to come up with here. But, man, we're just absolutely stomping one of the most infamous decks um, that I have ever come to know of. Of course, Greninja. A funny thing, actually. I was around when Greninja was in the standard format. I have never in my life played Greninja. Never. Not that I've not chosen to. Well, no, I haven't chosen to. But not because I was, you know, too afraid to play it. I didn't know how to play it. I just never had the cards to do it. Um, it, was, it was very, really... I was quite early into the game at that point, so I didn't really have the stuff to go and get a Greninja deck going. And I was just more interested in playing in other decks like uh, Buzzwell Garbodor, which was a deck around at that time as well. Um, right. I honestly have nothing else to do. I'm fully set up, pretty much. I guess finding some more um, Double Dragon Energy could be nice. So we could just go for another Versus Seeker on the Chorus here. We could actually use Guzman Harler again, which I think is just stupid. Um... But yeah, let's go for another Colrids. I want to see if we can find um, another double dragon energy so we can keep the ball rolling. Or, or maybe even a special charge. That could be good. Let's burn this nest ball here. Let's thin a little bit. Um, we could burn these, but I want to keep them for now just in case things do go a bit south. Um, let's see what we've got. All right, we don't have to play this computer search, so I'm not going to. In we go. Oh my god, we are just stomping this deck. I think them playing that Ash Greninja, Ash's Greninja, is it? Yeah, Ash Greninja EX was a big no-no on their part. Mark Ace, I feel sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm just coming in and just slap, slap, slap game. <laughs> that's that's what it is, right? Just, just stomping. Absolutely stomping. Jesus. All right, game. Done. I'll see you next time. No, I'm joking. <laughs> let's go. Let's go for another one. Let's go for another one. This deck is just fun. It's fun. It's ridiculous. It was enough for me to go. I have to go in. I have to play the expanded format just to uh, try this deck out. Let's see what we're up against here. Um, we also do pretty well against GXs. Um, I, I say the one big setback, obviously, apart from the fact that you can dead draw, um, like decks that don't play any sort of incredible Pokemon support, um, always have, of course. The other issue is it's low HP. It's quite easily one shotable by a lot of these big gx pokemon um obviously tag teams are going to hit things like 150 minimum and stuff like that obviously depending on what you're playing but it seems like 150 seems to be the minimum number that these tag teams are hitting unless they have some sort of other um quirk to it like gengar Mimikyu, that hits 40 for every is it 40 50 yeah 50 for every trainer card which we would be wrecked by by the way <laughs> we'd be absolutely smashed let's get another trubbish out um Let's get rid of... I don't like the idea of getting rid of a shrine, but I think I might be going for a sycamore here. Well, nah, I am. I'm going to be going for a sycamore here. So let's get that one out. And then we're going to go for another Trubbish. 
and we're gonna attach a float stone and then sycamore oh this is just sweet there we go um not a fan of attaching the float stone so early in the game but it's better that than you know just getting rid of it with sycamore so that's what i thought at least i think we're set up i think we're good to go i'm gonna hold this hand here um in the search for double dragons energies that's again the hard one here i think we play an energy loss in here i say i think because i did put it in but i have updated this the deck since i don't remember taking it out so I, we probably do but if we find a double dragon energy and get everything we need now again it's just straight game this is just stupid all right let's go for the trainer's mail uh let's go for another acro bike here and there is the garbador nice and obviously one thing you can tell is this deck is going to struggle against the likes of the trash lanch garbador that's something that's definitely the case you can even play it in this deck if you want but i just don't see it as too necessary i mean look at what's happening <laughs> it's not that crazy um to an extent where we need to include that let's go for another trainer's mail let's see what's see what's rolling here uh ooh, we could we could be super aggressive i kind of like that i want to dig right now for this let's get rid of oh, this is this is risky this is really risky but we're gonna do it we're gonna sick him on his hand away we want double dragon energy if we got that we have game oh we don't have it oh what a risky play what a risky play sean i mean if we still have lotto we still can try uh no unfortunately not we have the versus seekers so we don't need the n rescue stretcher i guess why not uh man that close the game on uh, our second turn ridiculous all right let's go for this ne 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 nest net bull is it nest it is nest yeah see i'm so used to i miss this card so much <laughs> i really really miss this card one card you noticed i'm not playing in this deck is ultra ball it is actually not needed period what is this attack attached to okay yeah it is not needed at all not at all um wow they're still struggling all right we're gonna go again with another sycamore i don't care yeah, we don't need Ultra Ball. We have Mysterious Treasure and Nest Ball. Nest Ball for the setup. Um, and, and Mysterious Treasure gets everything in the deck anyway. We're only playing Ultra and Cosmo and Garbodor. That's it. We haven't got any crazy techs or anything like that. We are just straight in for it. And here we are. Another nice, clean victory. Man, stomping. Absolutely stomping. Oh, yeah, we also get the energy discard, I guess. But that's going to... Yeah, doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> right. Uh... This is pretty quick. This is ha happening a lot faster than I expected. I'll be honest with you. Um, I haven't had any issues with dead draw, which is good. Maybe I just had some bad luck from when I was trying it out. Um, but, you know, I don't want to speak too soon. We're going to go in one more time. Uh, hopefully, I kind of want an intense game. I don't want it just to be stomp, 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 right? Um, another issue of playing in the expanded format is you can come up against the yet-to-be-banned deck that plays the likes of uh, Jirachi, Miss Magius, and that tall card that I've forgotten the name of. Ah, oh, it's going to really kill me. But I'm sure you guys know. But it is a, a lock deck that can get you to a zero card hand before you've even started. So, yeah. Dangerous deck to play against. And that's something you're running the risk of, of playing against in Expanded. Oh, I ain't seen this card for eight, man. This is just a nostalgia trip for me. Absolute nostalgia trip. Yeah, I remember this Raikou. I used to love this card. Um, yeah. Again, such a good hand here to start off. This is just stupid. This is... Oh, this is just mad. This is absolutely outlandish. I mean, you've got to bear in mind we are playing against decks that we are easily one-shotting. Um, this is a different monster. However, with the likes of Choice Band, that's 200 damage, discarding energy, Shine of Punishment, we are... We're in for it. We are in for it. We are ready for this type of stuff. So, mate, I'm good. I'm good. Let's get another Travish out. So, as long as you get two Travish out and not two Ultra Necrozma... That seems to be the ideal setup. Um, again, don't like the attaching the float stone so soon, but let's just go in with this sycamore and see what we've got rolling. We've got the Evo Soda, which isn't really needed. I think this is just a let's 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 be let's be a bit crazy. Let's go for another option in the Crosma, thin the deck a bit. And next turn, we are getting ready to search for those double dragon energies, which again is the one thing we really want to uh search for pretty much all the time all right so they're coming in with this that is dangerous my friend that is dangerous although they can get a nice one hit KO on us obviously but depending on what card they are oh, they got mars huh oh wow you got the one card jesus okay 
Okay, sure thing, sure thing. Ha! <laughs> I remember the old old rule. Always promote the float. That's always what I said. Always promote the float. Okay, sweet. This is good. Um, in fact, I'm going to Evo Soda here. And I want to... I do I do want a great catch here. I want to bring this thing up. Um, let's Evo Soda. Man, I missed that so much. Oh my god, so many good cards. Uh, let's great catch here. Let's get rid of the Mysterious Treasure. And the Acrobike. Let's bring this Picarom into the active. We want this bad boy. Yeah, there we go. And we could go for another Sycamore. I'm going to do it. I want to see a ton of cards. I'm so glad this is being reprinted. Um, there is another... Is it... What, what's the name of the Professor from... Um, Sword and Shield. I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, this is being reprinted. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, God, here we go. Go in with this Ultron across my... Smack it for 200 damage. Well, 118. Okay, fine. Um, but we've got that KO'd next turn if they don't find a way to retreat. They can't drop a Zero Aura and retreat or anything like that. They can't even drop a Float Stone because they've got the Hard Charm. So, retreating this, yeah. That's going to be quite a tough task, my friend. Um, considering the ability lock that we've got going. We got rid of Guzma. That's fine. Don't really need that right now. They just have to pass. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I'm genuinely overwhelmed here. I don't want to play that Guzman Harley yet. Let's go for that. And let's just hold the hand. The Guzman Harley is great because it can get us that shrine, but we don't need it. We we simply don't need the shrine. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, we've got everything but the shrine, but we're one-shotting anything anyway. So, I, I, I mean, do I have to say anything? I think I'm telling you. I'm thinking. Sorry, I think I'm showing you. How ridiculous this deck is. It is mad. Obviously, it's in the expanded format. And in the expanded format, you have some crazy decks out there. Um, so, don't think that this is like the best deck in expanded. There are so many crazy decks in expanded. This deck I'm playing against here, to be honest with you, it doesn't seem to be that great. Playing Mars's and Whitney's as its main draw focus doesn't seem like a great deal um to have right so this card can't be affected by any special condition okay that's fine that's a knockout if we find what well, if we find we can get the great catcher we can get another great catcher sweet let's do it let's do it let's do it let's get rid i think we want to get some pokemon back into deck not yet let's get rid of the trainer's mail and the float and get ourselves that great catcher um let's acro bike see if we hit a cynthia or something I really want to hit Cynthia. I don't want to get rid of the Hala just yet. Okay, we've hit a Sycamore. That's dangerous, but we're going to do it, man. We're going aggressive. I do not care. Problem is, though, we have to get rid of our Rescue Stretcher. That's problematic. Maybe we hold it to next turn. Man, I really want to take that Pika on down. I really do. We could great catcher the sycamore away. No, I think we can't play the Harla. Ah, see, this is a problem. I really need to recover those Ultron of Crosmas, unless I'm so confident in winning that I'm, will I'm willing to throw this away. Man, I'm really not willing to throw that away. We could great catcher. This is super risky. I'm going to do it. Risk it for a biscuit. Mm, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Ah, okay, let's, let's, let's. Uh, no. Let's just go in here and just hope they ain't got it like that. Again, we're discarding the energy, so they can't just attach and attack next turn with this. <laughs> Lord. Oh, out of focus. Hello, I'm here. There we go. I. Need I say anything? This is crazy. Oh, I did play the Energy Lotto. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. This is the deck. I'm actually mind blown by how ridiculously powerful this is. Again, there's a few setbacks. Dead Drawing, which I haven't had at all yet when recording this video, which is great. Have had it a few times before, though, so just, just to let you know. But it seems to be a good build. Um, and, of course, the low HP. But, of course, we have the likes of Rescue Stretcher and stuff to bring things back. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sure there is probably a better deck uh, list out there. I have seen deck lists before. I think this was a pretty good deck in Japan at one point. 
Um, but this is my list and it seems to function incredibly well. I'm super, super happy with this. Uh, I'm, I'm genuinely blown away. So I, I, I would heavily, heavily, heavily recommend that you try this out if you want to have a bit of fun in the expanded format. A nice, simple, clean, hard hitting deck. What more is there to say? I'm just I'm blown away. Anyway, huge shout out to our sponsor, of course, PTCGO store, an online store, of course, where you can get your codes for a pretty good price. Remember to use the code FTW at five, sorry, at five percent off at checkout for five percent. Man, this is a, uh, this is crazy, ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God.